Hi guys, JP from FSI panel. Welcome on this video where I will show you how you can basically slow ahead any of your flight plan waypoints using FSI panel 2024 or FSI panel 2020 advanced edition on the iFly 737 MAX 8. So now if you don't have time to complete your flight and you want to slew to your top of descent, you can use this new feature available as of today on both version 2020 and 2024 advanced edition. Uh, note that this is a beta version again, so you might see some uh, some problem. So please do not shoot the messenger, but, but uh, send me an email and tell me what went wrong. So I'm going to show you here what you can do. We have been doing a couple of tests and everything went well. So let me show you exactly how you could basically use this feature on FSI panel. 2020 and 2024. Here for the uh, demonstration, I'm going to use FSI panel 2024. So before I forget, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys. So let's jump in the cockpit. All right, here we are in the cockpit of our uh, 737 MAX 8 at cruising altitude 360. We departed uh, Madeira around 20 minutes ago on the way to Geneva. So it's a very long flight. You can see that we still have a lot of mileage around 1,300 miles and we should be arriving in Geneva with 3.3 tons of fuel top of descent at 1753 so right now it's 1525 so we have a good two hours in cruise so if we have a look now in Navigraph this is the flight that I'm doing right now so I'm departed just now Madeira on the way to uh, Geneva as you can see we are just at the beginning here and we have all the way to Geneva. And now what we want to do is basically complete the flight because we don't have time or for any reason you don't want to do the whole cruise. So let's try that. So we are going to position the aircraft to any waypoint before the top of descent. So if I look now in my uh, FMC, we can see on the legs page all the waypoints all the way to Geneva. And as we said before, the top of descent is at 1753 Zulu. So if I look here, we probably we are probably going to position the aircraft just before uh, the beginning of the star. So let's have a look where we can position the aircraft. So what you can do is go to plan page, for example, and then you can step by step move into your flight plan. And you will find the top of descent. So you can see now top of descent here. So let me zoom out a little bit. So we can see that Etrek is the very last waypoint before our top of descent. So we are going to try to position to Etrek. So let's have a look now at this waypoint Etrek, just to have some reference, and then we can check what FSI panel does. So we can see that the waypoint Etrek here, we will have an inbound track 059 to our Etrek. Now, how can we know what time we're gonna be there? One of the easiest way to do is to go to VNAV page, RTA, and now we have the information. So right now, we have about 1,117 nautical miles to Etrek. We should be arriving there at 1751 if we keep the same uh, cruising speed as we have right now. So that's a good thing to do. And for the fuel computation, as you can see, we have around two hours and 30 minutes and we are using this fuel flow so this is what fsi panel will do in order to compute the fuel that you should have on board at etrek so this is the information just to keep in mind 1751 and uh, the track we saw and let's try it so i'm going to delete that and that's it so basically you are in your flight like this and now you want to position to etrek so one thing to consider never be too close to the barber pole because then if we move to a trek and we have tailwind or headwinds then we might go over speed or low speed if you have a coffin margin so what i suggest you to do here the coffin corner sorry what you need, what what i suggest you to do if you want to make sure that everything goes well you could go in altitude old or you can go speed intervene if you prefer both will work and then reduce your speed to something very comfortable where you have a big bit margin. You will be able to increase the speed again later on, but that's something that will help you. All right, so let's go ahead, start FSI panel. Oh, 
Okay, the side panel has started. We're on cruise, so we are expecting here the eye fly. And now something very, very, very important. Select where you want to land. So I'm going to Geneva. And on which runway you intend to land. This is not too important if you don't take the right runway, but at least select the runway. All right, now to get to that uh, uh, system. How do we have to do it? First of all, always make sure, because we just started the FSI panel, that you have your in-game model connected. Otherwise, you won't get any message from FSI panel. So the best thing to do is always to open it before FSI panel, and then we can start the new feature. So we go to Select Fix, and you can see here the SLU to Flight Plan Waypoint beta version. So you click on SLU aircraft, and we are back in our 737. So now we just have to basically follow the indication that FSI panel is giving you. So here you can see, please put the desired waypoint on the scratch pad, legs page, when done, click here to continue. So basically, I just need to go on the legs page and select my waypoint. So we said we want a track, so I'm just going to put a track in the scratch pad. That's all I need to do, and now I'm just going to click here to continue. And now FSI panel will start working on the positioning. So here we just have to wait. FSI panel is gathering the information that it needs, and then it will move the aircraft to a track. Here we go. As you can see, the aircraft is moving a little bit, as I told you, so it's good to have this 0.76. And here we go. So now if I go to my legs page, I can just make sure I'm going to a track, which is in front of me. And I can increase my speed if I want to. I have the track, which was 0.59, if you recall. The fuel has been reduced. So we were expecting to land in Geneva with 3.3. So we are going now to Geneva with 3.2. So it's almost the same. And the time has changed as well. So we moved forward the time. We reduce the fuel, we are to the new waypoint, and everything looks correct. So now the only thing you need to do is make sure you go back to VNAV if you want to, and you have your top of descent, which is right there, and you can complete your flight without having to fly the whole cruise. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure, if you try it, not to select the waypoint after top of descent, always before the top of descent, and just follow carefully what I just show you. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to the channel and I'll see you very soon for another training session. Bye-bye.